You ever look at a loaf of bread and think about evolution? I know, that sounds ridiculous, but hear me out for a second. That bread on your table didn't just magically happen. It is not just a result of baking. That loaf is actually a testament to this long and broken chain of human iniquity and biology. Because wheat didn't just start out as a robust productive crop we know today. It began as wild grass. Wild grass. Something you probably wouldn't even recognize if you saw it. But generation after generation, thousands of years, in fact of selective breeding, humans chose the strongest stalks, the healthiest seeds, and refined that wild plant into what we now call wheat. So what's the principle behind that transformation? Evolution. Here's the thing. If you believe in the power of directed evolution, what we do in biotechnology, in agriculture, in medicine, then whether you realize it or not, you already believe in evolution. Because at its core, they are the same thing. Let's take a step back. What is directed evolution? In biotechnology, directed evolution is the process of engineering biological molecules, proteins, enzymes, even entire organisms by mimicking what nature already does, natural selection. Hear how it works. Scientists introduce slight random mutation into a population of, say, an enzyme. Then they test those enzymes to see which one performs the best under specific conditions. The ones that work, they're selected. Their DNA is copied and the process is repeated round after round after round. Now, does that sound familiar? It should. That's Darwin's principle of natural selection, just sped up and tailored for specific goals. Nature takes millions of years to do this. We figured out how to do it in labs over weeks. And let me tell you, it's revolutionizing everything. Directed evolution has given us life-saving drugs like insulin analogs for diabetes patients and enzymes that break down plastics, which is crucial step towards solving our environmental crisis. Think about that for a second. When you hold a medicine created through directed evolution, you're literally holding the proof of evolutionary principles in your hand. It works because evolution works. So, why do people still doubt evolution? I think it's because they misunderstand it. Outside of religious beliefs, there is this idea floating around that evolution is just chaos, like a storm of random genetic accidents with no direction or purpose. But that's not how it works. Yes. Random mutations happen, but natural selection, the force guiding those mutations, that is anything but random. It is methodical, precise, and ruthless. Only the traits that provide an advantage survive. And over time, those slight, beneficial changes build into something massive, something profound. Here's an analogy for you. Imagine you're building a house. Each day you add one new brick. At first, it doesn't look like much, just a scattering of bricks laying around. But as the days pass, patterns start to emerge. Walls, windows, roof. The randomness of adding bricks is governed by the non-random plan of building a house. Evolution works the exact same way. Still, some people ask, okay, if evolution is real, why don't we see new species just appearing in front of us? Here's the thing. Evolution operates on a scale far beyond the human lifespan. It's like trying to watch the hour hand on a clock move. The process is happening, but it's too gradual for us to notice without the right tools. But the evidence, it's everywhere. Take your own body, for example. Your appendix, that's a leftover form when our ancestors needed to digest tougher plant-heavy diets. Your tailbone at the base of your spine, a remnant from when we actually had tails. And those goosebumps you get when you're cold or scared, that's the relic from when our fur-covered ancestors used to puff up their hair to appear larger in the face of predators. You don't have to look far to find proof of evolution. It's written all over you. But if that's not enough for you, let's talk about the lab. In 2018, Frances Arnold won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her work in directed evolution. Her team didn't just demonstrate the principles of evolution, they used them. They engineered enzymes with extraordinary capabilities. Those enzymes are now helping us create biofuels, clean up toxic waste, and develop new pharmaceuticals. Think about what that means. Evolution, when harnessed, isn't just theoretical. 
It's practical. It's tangible. It's changing the world in real time. If the principles of evolution didn't work, none of this would be possible. The lab doesn't care about your beliefs. It cares about results. Now, let's talk absurdity a little bit. If someone were to argue that gravity doesn't exist, would you waste your time debating them? Of course not, because you experience gravity every second of every day. You drop a pen, it falls. Gravity is demonstrable. Evolution is no different. Bacteria evolving resistance to antibiotics, that's evolution. Crops becoming resistant to pests, evolution. The flu virus mutating every season, forcing us to develop new vaccines. Again, evolution. You don't have to take my word for it. It's happening all around you, all the time. Denying evolution at this point is like denying the weather. Sure, you can ignore the clouds and the wind, but it doesn't stop the storm. Now, let's circle back to the bread. What do you think it represents? Not just the evolution of wheat, but the evolution of us. Because humanity didn't just stumble upon the tools to create directed evolution. We reached this point through centuries of trial and error, through discovery, through building on what came before us. The same forces that turned wolves into dogs wild grass into wheat and single-celled organisms into humans have shaped our ability to think, innovate, and question. Evolution isn't just about biology, it's about progress, it's about possibility. Here's a kicker. If you trust your ability to reason, to think critically, to understand the world, then you're already putting your faith in evolution. Why? Because your brain, every neuron, every synapse, is the product of billions of years of refinement. So the next time someone questions evolution, ask them this. If evolution isn't real, how do you explain the insulin that keeps millions alive? The enzymes that clean up oil spills? The crops that feed billions? Or better yet, hand them a loaf of bread. Sometimes the simplest things tell the most profound truth. Evolution isn't just a theory, it's a toolkit. A process that explains where we've been and guides us where we're going. And if we use it wisely, it might just save us from ourselves. I'll see you in the next video. Maybe.